Hi guys, what's up? It's Olivia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a chit chat get ready with me. Um, it's like, what time is it? I don't know. It's 8.30 at night. I'm not going anywhere but I just felt like putting on makeup and I thought I would show you guys this look. I, I've done it before. It's literally I just put pink eyeshadow on my eyelids. I thought I'd just talk to you guys and show you guys my makeup as I go along and I don't know I hope this is entertaining but let's do it starting off by doing my eyebrows I always do my eyebrows first I'm using the Anastasia brow wiz in chocolate and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows see my silk blue pajama pants what a freaking look with this top and like my jewelry wow Okay, so my eyebrows are done. They're not perfect. Um, sisters, not twins. So now I'm actually going to go in and highlight my brow bone with um, Smoke and Whistles by Colourpop. So now I'm going to start with the eyeshadow, and I'm using the Jordana eyeshadow in the shade Blushing Rose. It's actually a blush, I guess. I didn't even know that until right now. But I bought this for prom, and I wore it to prom, and I actually really like it. It's really pretty like mauve color and I'm just gonna put that with a fluffy brush into my crease but I'm gonna be taking my modern renaissance palette I love this palette it's to die for and I'm gonna be taking the shade love letter which is a very like vibrant pink color I don't really know if you can see it but it's there and I'm gonna take the brush actually that comes in the palette and I'm going to Put that on with the fluffy side speaking of things i'm anticipating um i just finished my junior year of high school and i'm on summer break right now which means i'm going to be a senior when i go back in a few months and that's very very weird to me it's just so weird that it happens so fast everyone always tells you it's gonna fly by and you never believe it but it really does trust me i never believe them i'm anticipating graduation but i'm not anticipating life after graduation as of right now. I'll figure it out though. It'll be okay. Everything will work itself out. I'm not worried. I'm just a little um, stressed maybe. <laughs> That's all. Once I have that on, I'm just going to blend it out with a different fluffy brush. I have like 8 million fluffy brushes and I'm just going to blend that into my brow bone so it's not super harsh. Once that's blended, I'm going to do the same thing, taking the fluffy brush and putting Love Letter in the crease again just to darken it up and make it more vibrant and fun and just really out there. I love wearing like crazy matte colors on my eyes, I don't know. I prefer it over like glitters and shimmers and stuff like that. And then you guessed it, blending that out again. Don't want no harsh edges. Once that's blended, I'm now going to take Venetian Red from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the other end of this brush that comes with it, the like flat side, and I'm just gonna focus this like in my crease. Now I'm gonna jump back to Love Letter with this dense e.l.f. brush and just put it all over my lid. Then again, you guessed it, blend it in the crease. We don't want no harsh lines, boys. So once again, I'm gonna highlight the brow bone um, and I'm gonna use Tempura, Tempura, from the Modern Renaissance. And then I'm gonna jump back to using this Blushing Rose shade and um, I'm gonna take a small little brush and put it on my lower lash line. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna start cleaning all this up by doing the face makeup. I actually just started using this again. It is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte BB cream like foundation stuff. I used this a few years ago and I never finished this bottle but I decided to start using it again because I just remembered really liking it. It's super super light which is really nice for the summertime and I also think that it really helps control the oil in my t-zone because usually I just wear concealer and powder but it ends up looking like extremely cakey and gross by the end of the day because I just can't find that right combination for my oily skin. I'm gonna put this all over my face and blend it out with a damp knockoff beauty blender. I 
As for concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Stick in Fair, and I'm going to be applying this to my dark circles. I don't know what else to talk about. Um, what have I been doing? I have just honestly been working a lot trying to make some money because senior year is going to be expensive with application fees and senior trips and stuff like that. I don't really have any concerts coming up. I wish I was freaking going to Tour de Columbus um, for 21 Pilots, but tickets sold out literally in 0.5 seconds and I had musical that day. I am going to see Water Parks, All Time Low, and Swimmers. Um, in July I think it is and I'm super excited about that um, I haven't seen swimmers since last summer and I really really love them a lot and I've never seen water parks or all-time low to be quite honest I don't really listen to all-time low I'm mostly going for water parks and swimmers um, but I'm still very excited it's gonna be a really good show I think that's a great bunch of people to be honest Okay, so once I finish blending out all the creams, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is just translucent, and I'm going to just wipe this all over my face. Do you guys have any, like, good makeup recommendations, like, face makeup recommendations for oily skin? Please let me know. I feel like everyone I come across has dry skin, and that doesn't get me anywhere because I have the exact opposite, um, which is extremely oily skin, and it's very annoying, and I don't... I don't like it very much. Once that's set, I'm gonna be taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Bronzer and putting this all over my face, not really for a contour because I'm not good at that, more like for color because I'm extremely pale even though it's summertime. So once I'm bronzed, I'm gonna highlight and I'm just gonna use that same Smoke and Whistles highlighter from ColourPop. Before I put on my mascara, I'm gonna prep my lips with the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. Just a little bit of plumper. So now I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and I'm gonna put that on my top and bottom lashes. So I just line my lips using the Avon Lip Liner in Simply Spice. This is my favorite lip liner to ever exist. I love it so much. And then to warm this up a little bit, I'm taking this mellow lipstick in the shade Nude. It's like a darker, like, uh, brownie color. I don't really know how to describe it. But I got it in an Ipsy bag, and it's probably, like, my favorite lip color to ever exist. This is the final look. I literally just blended several shades of pink onto my eyes, but I really like it. I think it's very lovely. I usually do the same thing with orange eyeshadows that I did here, so doing pink is a little bit different for me. It's a little bit more flirty and fun for the summertime, a little bit brighter than an orange. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this makeup look. Um, if you did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, rest in peace, Harold, while I film this video. Trying to remember how it feels to have a heart. Okay, that's enough, I'm going. <laughs>